Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As part of uh, this topic, we will be covering uh, Apache Spark's broadcast variables um, or broadcast uh, data sets. Um, it, it, it is considered as variables. You can broadcast a single value or a hash map. Typically, it will be used to broadcast hash map. If it is single value, you can just um, add it to the Spark context and you can access from anywhere. Uh, rather, if you have uh, some, small, uh, some smaller data set to medium sized data set, uh, which you want to um, build a hash map and then uh, use it to look up, what you can do is you can uh, um, broadcast that hash map uh, on, and uh, when you do that, it, it will be broadcasted on all to the executors where the processing is done. And then you can actually look up into this data set. One of the classic example where you can use um, hash map based broadcast is uh, to implement the map side join. Typically, the join happens on the reduced side after shuffling is done. So in Spark world, it is called as uh, shuffle in the inbuilt uh, in between map and reduce. After the shuffle is done, the reduce uh, uh, join, side join will happen. And uh, it is... Uh, uh, little bit uh, expensive compared to doing the lookup on the map side itself even before the shuffling okay don't worry if you understand too many details at this time um, I will be covering uh, uh, about that elsewhere and just remember that if you have to send a small to medium sized data set uh, uh, for the lookup just build a hash map and broadcast it to the multiple uh, uh, to all the executors, either it could be mappers, it could be reducers, wherever you want, you can do that. Uh, the classic example where it can be used is when we, there is a very large data set, uh, try to join with smaller data set, broadcasting the smaller one can have considerable performance improvement. Um, broadcast variables have to be immutable, that means you cannot actually change um, and the broadcast variable or the content in the broadcast variable um, when you are processing the data. That being said, we will see uh, how the broadcast variables will be uh, can be implemented. We will define the problem statement, uh, we will design the application and we will implement the application as well as part of this topic. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content. If you like this video or if you have to provide the feedback or rating, please do so. If you think that uh, I do not deserve 100% rating, please uh, uh, let me know. I will try to uh, improvise on that uh, for the future videos. That being said, thank you. Bye.